Now, a large part of the carbon we have in the atmosphere now is caused by the electricity grid, which is about 25% or so. Exactly. So 24%, um, it comes from agriculture and forestry. Why is that causing such a big increase in carbon? Well, the, that category uh, is a variety of things. When you clear land, you're taking in the carbon that's stored, say, in the trees or plants there, and you're releasing all of that, like burning the land, uh, say, in Indonesia for um, palm oil plantations. Another thing is that uh, cows and other grass-eating species uh, have a digestion system that emits methane. And methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. And so cows alone uh, account for about 6% of global emissions. And so we need to change cows, uh, cows just cows alone. Uh, How are we going to do that? Well, uh, actually, of all the categories, uh, the one that has gone better than I would have expected five years ago is this work to make what's called artificial meat. And so you have people like Impossible or Beyond Meat, both of which uh, I invested in. Do you eat it as well, or do you like it? Absolutely. You, do. Uh, okay. you can go to uh, Burger King and buy the Impossible Burger. All right, is it healthier for you, or just healthier for the atmosphere? It's, it's slightly healthier for you in terms of less cholesterol. It's, of course, dramatic reduction in uh, methane emissions, you know, animal cruelty, manure management, and the pressure that meat consumption puts on land use. 